dull hair, flat hair, broken nails, pimples. It turns out there are simple, cheap solutions for all of them, according to the internet, which is the most reliable place on earth, right? Not so much, we all know that. So we decided to do it ourselves, to try the most impressive, most amazing, most viral beauty hacks online, so you don't have to. Beauty and wellness expert Kim Douglas is here with our test team of real women, brave enough, right, that they dared to find out what's a hack and what's a hoax. First up, the viral rice water and apple cider vinegar rinse that claims to revive stressed out hair. Take a look at this incredibly popular TikTok beauty hack. So I actually tried this rice water and apple cider vinegar hair rinse. What happened? Do you believe that it works? Is it a hoax or a hack? So yes, I've tried it. I put it on my hair for 30 minutes and I put on a cap to let it fully saturate. Over time, my hair was really full. It reduced mm -hmm. breakage and it was full of shine. And it also helped to um, bounce my curls back with great elasticity. When I see a mom smiling, I know things are going well. <laughs> yeah, so ultimately, tired. it's a hack for me. All yes. right, so just to show this for you all can believe it, this is a before and after of Ashley's hair. Oh. You, this, remember, she used this hack constantly for over a year. Yeah. So Kim, explain to the viewers how these these products get results as we're seeing. Yeah, and they're so easy, Dr. Oz. I mean, you can, everybody can find some rice and some water, right? You let it ferment and then you just pour it on your hair. And it's because, as you well know, there's so many vitamins, B and E, in the rice water. So that just helps with possibly making your hair grow longer and stronger. And then the apple cider vinegar is great for, as you said, Ashley, for getting rid of all that buildup and also helps to possibly get rid of dandruff. Thank you very much for doing this experiment. No, no problem. All right, our next beauty hack gaining traction with young people is that's certainly online is using lemon juice to lighten your hair. You can see a TikToker using it right there, Kim. Yep. Hoax or hack? Well, let me just tell you, Dr. Oz, I think it's a little bit of both. And I know that's a little bit like I'm trying to skip out on you, but I'm not. There is, of course, citric acid in lemon juice, right? So it is kind of a natural bleach. But when you put it on your hair and you walk out in the sun, it will help to lighten it a little bit. However, if you have a darker shade hair and you're expecting to go from three to eight, <laughs> not going to work. But if you're expecting to go maybe from three to four, it could definitely work depending on how much lemon juice you use and how often you're out in the sun. Here's one little caveat. If you have the darker hair and you use this, it could go a little orange. So you don't really want that. So that's why I say it's a little bit of both. So I guess the mantra here is if life gives you lemons, just stick to making lemonade. There you go. You don't want to go red. Why push red. <laughs> right. Next up, a sock hack courting the curl community on social media. Take a look at the video while Kim explains what we are seeing. This is so bizarre. Oh, it really is. You're going to love it. So I could take a pair of your socks, Dr. Oz. Then I just have my hair a little bit damp, and then I just braid it, put it cuffed up, go to bed, sleep overnight, sit around with it, and then take it out and look what you have. Non-heat curls. I gotta say, I like the fact that there's no iron. No heat. Right? Nothing could be damaging the hair. Exactly. But does it get the results? Is it a hoax? Shumaya from our test team slept on her hair. I, I'm told, told the right thing. Yep. You were able to do this effortlessly. By, by the way, are these uncomfortable to sleep in? No, they're actually very comfortable. They were like extra layer of pillows. All right, so it's time to unravel those curls. We're gonna get the socks out of the hair to find out if it's a hack or a hoax. While you're doing that, Shumaya, Take a look at this hack that claims to test if your heat protection spray really works. You can walk us through what we are seeing. Okay, so what they're showing all over is get your heat protectant, then you get a slice of bread. Yep. You put it on half of the bread, really saturate it, pop it in the toaster, let it do its thing, and here's the results, Dr. Oz. It's a big difference. Big difference. Was that a hack or a hoax? Well, let me tell you. That was a hoax because, as you well know, bread, when it's wet, doesn't burn. Oh, yes. So they've saturated it, right? So it looks like, oh, my gosh, this is amazing. Wet, it could have been water, and it wouldn't have burned. Oh, it was a head fake. It's oh, my fake. goodness. All right. We got some of the curls out. Yes. Doesn't this it look great? It comes out pretty quickly. Yeah. I and see I mean, some of them already. May I? Yes. Look at that. 
I mean, that is amazing. Not one curling iron, not one flat iron. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look at this. Well, what do you think? Are you happy with it? I love it. So that's actually, it's a hack. It works. It really works. Good this you. is sweeping the internet, Dr. Oz. Perhaps a good reason. All right, coming up, more viral beauty hacks that cost practically nothing and use items you already have in your home. So stay tuned. We are back with more viral beauty hacks. Beauty expert Kim Douglas is about to show us re recommended hacks for skin and nails using items that you already have in your home. First up, we have Ice, Ice <laughs> Baby. baby. So what kind of beauty hacks can we do with ice? This is some pretty big blocks. Yeah, this rock. really is. I don't have this in my own, but I know everybody, like you said, has ice. So I've got two tips for you, Dr. Oz. Okay, first is for your nails. Second is for your skin. So first off, you don't do this probably, but many women get a manicure, right? And you just get your nails done. And then it's like, oh, the phone rings or, oh, I've got to walk the dog. Oh, what am I going to do? Put your hands in a little bowl of ice. Put your hands in here. Yeah. Look, that doesn't wash away the, 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 the polish? No. Do you believe oh. it? It just literally seals it in. And then, oh, I'm going off to do my thing. Everyone should do this. I know. The time walking around like this. And it's exactly. It's going into surgery. Don't touch. <laughs> oh, that's right. I could be like you. And then the other thing you can do is you can take a little bit of ice. And let's say you have a blemish or acne and you need to go out and you feel a little bit self-conscious. You take a little bit of ice, wrap it in plastic or a paper towel, and then put it on the blemish. And it will help to take away the inflammation and reduce the redness. So it doesn't make it go away, but you feel a little bit better about it. I've got some mojitos coming up for you after the show. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Let's do it. Next up, this is a cool hack with tea bags. And we have some video of someone on TikTok using a tea bag to fix a broken nail. So can you walk us through what we're seeing? Sure. So she's got a broken nail. She gets a tea bag. You cut a little piece of the tea bag. You get your glue. There's the piece. You put it onto the, the nail and then you just make sure it's all smooth. Then you file it down and then you will coat it with your polish. And then this one's got very, you know, excited and she got a little bit of decals. Looks like she went, got a manicure, right? All right, now, this may be the crude Okay. Bra. We've got a cinnamon oil, right, which is available at most big chain pharmacies or stores that sell essential oils. It's a TikTok trend to put on your lips that makes them look fuller. Now, this is a video <laughs> of someone trying it out that got us all convinced. For reference, this is how my lips look without any lip plumper, without anything on them. I mean, they look okay, but I would love them a little bit more plump. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna use to naturally plump my nuts. You need cinnamon to make this lip plumper. Mix everything, and I'm just gonna apply this to my lip. It feels like a lip plumper is on my lips. It doesn't feel like cinnamon and peppermint oils on my lips. It feels like I drenched my lips in lip plumper. My lips look a lot plumper than they did before. Cute. What makes this hack so popular? Does it burn, by the way? Well, it doesn't actually burn, but it does tingle. So what you're doing is the cinnamon is like kind of irritating the nerve endings on the lips, right? So it makes it kind of um, inflame, puff up a little bit, and get a little bit red. And there you go. But I will tell you, Dr. Ross, don't expect it to last for months and weeks and years. <laughs> I hope not. A little while. I really enjoyed having you oh, on. Oh, you too. It was wonderful. To wonderful insights. I love that we made sense of some of these internet hacks that actually work. So easy. Who would have thought?